do And don't forget Been this way Since we met Love me For who I am Take me With all my faults There may be many But as a result Half my charm All that fast And a whole lot of class Love me For who I am Might find somebody thinner Maybe a better singer One who will make you a fine me But watch out, honey Maybe better with the money But there's only, there's only one me Don't try to change me You won't succeed There's so much inside I gotta set free My crazy ways Those rainy days They all make me They all make me The way I am Love me For who I am I love you sweet And keep it real Stay by your side Let's jazz it up here on blogtalkradio.com. That is Love Me For Who I Am by Macy Miller. We will be talking about her newest album, Nine. Welcome to my show, Macy Miller. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Yes, yes, welcome, welcome. I love the album. Uh, that track there, Love Me For Who I Am, what inspired you to do that song there? You sound so good, the the music in the back. Uh, I feel like I'm sitting right there, right there next to the stage you sang <laughs> it. It's, it sounds well, live. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, I, I wanted a song that would... Kind of a women's anthem, but it could be for anyone, really. Just about taking back your personal power and owning your uh, owning your own beauty, loving yourself, and and expect and demanding that from other people. You know, yeah. I feel like women as a whole, we have all these society societal uh, pressure to be like the perfect wife, mother. Um, business person, whatever it is that we do, and just excel at them all. And we as women put that self-pressure on ourselves, too. And I think that, um, yeah, just um, that song came from a a journey that I'm on about self-love and um, and definitely getting that respect from your significant other. (laughs) Yeah, I understand. Um, I've been single for quite some time, and uh, I sit back and observe things, and you're right. Uh, we are looked at differently, and most people um, talk and look at you differently than who you really are. And yeah, uh, it's an uncomfortable feeling, and um, it's mostly the uh, opposite sex. Uh, sometimes it's other women, but um, it's a very sensitive uh, emotion, and. Uh, and not only that, people should love themselves for who they are. Not only just Absolutely. other persons love love you for who you are, but you have to love yourself as well. I really love yeah. that track. 
it's good to thank play you. that track. Yes, yes. And thank you and for I wanna, that information. Thanks. And I want to mention Aaron Graves wrote that song with me. All the originals on the album um, were written by Aaron Graves and myself. He's a master piano player, composer. Yeah. And any t- any song that I had, I could sing it into the phone for him, and I'd come to the studio the next time, and he'd have all this great music already for me. And he's quite the musical genius. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, we're gonna there. talk about we're gonna talk more about him and the others. Um, so um, I would like to introduce you to the listening audience um, about yourself. Now, Macy uh, Miller, uh, originally from Harrisburg. Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And you were born into a musical family, so yes, your parents and uh, uncles and aunties, siblings, and everyone can sing and play instruments too. Many, yes, many <laughs> do. Um, my mom had a beautiful voice when she was younger. She's not; she doesn't sing anymore, but she has a beautiful voice. My dad. Um, had a beautiful voice. I shouldn't say had in the past tense for both of them, but they both smoke like crazy, so it's not like they used to. Um, Some people can, but whatever. I I don't. But anyway. um, No, but they, um, you know, they sang, my cousins sang. uh, On my dad's side of the family, um, we're Croatian, um, and um, they play a lot of ethnic music, a lot of instruments and music at all family functions. And everything's a function. There's always a party for something going on. And then on my mom's side of the family, they're all like musicians, uh, producers, engineers, wow. and um, have done tours and stuff like that. So, yeah. In fact, wow. my one uncle has produced two of my albums. Okay. In okay. the past. Well, you love yeah. it. So, I am lucky. I, yes, you are. That's very blessed. So you were drawn to the soulful divas of the day, uh, Whitney Houston, Chaka Khan, Aretha Franklin, Tina Turner, and um, which I'm quite sure has inspired you uh, along the years. And you had an inspiration from the great jazz singers like Billie Holiday, Ella Ella Fitzgerald, and Dinah Washington. So Mm, um, here you are. So how long have you been in the music industry, per se? Huh, that's a good question. I mean, I started singing as long as I can remember. But professionally, I guess when I was um, maybe in my 20s, I did like, I joined a band and I did musical theater. And I mean, I was uh, always doing something musical and I was modeling and acting back then too. So I sort of had my hands in a lot of things, but music is always what I wanted to do. And I sang pop back then. Actually, my first band was like a funk R and B old school R and B band. And I loved that very much. And it's still one of my favorite types of music. Yeah. Anything soulful really. But it was later that the jazz bug got me. I was working in Atlantic city doing an extended run at uh, one of the casinos down there. And um, I was like just headlining like a cabaret show. And I just used to listen to jazz on the way back because I loved it. And then one day I'm like, why am I not singing this? So I just kind of dug in and, and the more I heard, the more I connected to it. And yeah, I kind of never, you know, went back after that. So. All right. That's how it happened. Wow. <laughs> Have you uh, thought about writing a book about your life story, your musical journey, your life story in a book? Oh, that's funny. No, I mean, <laughs> no. I don't think it's that Just interesting yet. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so where are you Maybe calling from? Uh, Philadelphia. Okay. You're calling from Philadelphia. Great. And I am calling from Evansville, Indiana. Yes, I'm a Hoosier. Here in Evansville, Indiana. <laughs> so um, we're going to uh, really talk about this newest album, Nine. I want to ask you, what made you name it Nine? And this is the part I like to hear. <laughs> well, um, I'm, a, I'm a kind of spiritual kind of girl, and I believe in signs, and I'm always um, drawn to certain things. And, you know, there were a lot of... Um, I wasn't sure. This is the first time I wrote an album where the, there wasn't a particular song that stood out as the title. 
I mean, there are some that could have worked, but for some reason or other, I, none of them just really clicked for me. And originally I wanted to have 11 songs on it, but as an uh, independent artist, money started getting tight, so I decided nine would yeah. be enough. And then I realized, wait, there's nine players, there's nine Dirty. songs. Uh-huh. And I looked up the number nine, and the nine is all about, like, connecting to your um, self and about growing, about universal and spiritual growth. And mm-hmm. I went through a lot of growth during the period, the two-and-a-half-year period of making this album. There was mm-hmm. a lot of um, internal growth going on. I mean, a lot we all had to collectively get through um, as a society in the last few years and and also personally. So, um, yeah, and it was also about you, the number nine. Like, if you looked it up, every religion has something to do with nine, yeah. something sacred and all of it. And the more I looked, the more interested I was in it. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Yeah. This, this fits. It fits who I am. It it fits the music. Because this this song, this song album, I really wanted it to be about uplifting and, and growth and connecting and making people feel something, giving them hope and um, yeah, it just, I don't know. It all just came together and it felt right. Well, I want you to mention the names of the musicians after I spin um, this song, Strange is the Night. What's the story behind Absolutely. that song, Strange is, is the Night? Behind What's mm. the uh, story behind the music? Yeah. I'm glad you asked. You know, Strange is the Night was born... Um, one night after watching the news and just so much hatred, so much racism, so much violence, um, just so much divide and so much going on in the world. I mean, just collectively. And I just thought how strange the nighttime is that we'll all be going through our day. And then you turn on the news and you see all this and how it's affecting us. And I mean, definitely um, a lot of the song is about racism and about, you know, peaceful protests that turn violent and, Mm -hmm. you know, people running around with guns like it's something great to do. And I could go on, but I probably will keep it (laughs) non-political. But, but, you know, it just, it was about the things that are crazy in the world and, and a little bit of hope that we're going to wake up and, and change that at some point. So that's what the song's about. Yes, uh, the, our world is strange. So I'm going to uh, spend strange with the night. <laughs> you stay yes. at high speed, Macy. We'll be right back. Okay. I will. Thank you. 
track should be in a movie or something <laughs> well as yeah we I, along, yeah it, it should be in a soundtrack uh for a movie uh thanks as, I, I as hope it reaches a lot of people you, uh to uh sing for a movie not yet but i'm working not on yet. it <laughs> well uh this should come i think it should happen so uh i want to ask you uh about the nine albums Introduce us all, including the uh, curious listeners out there, about the musicians that work with you on the nine album. How did you all meet in a collab together? How did all this come together like that? 
Well, you know, I have to say it started with my buddy Mike Boone. Mike yeah. Boone is a legendary bass player um, in Philadelphia, and I got to know him a little bit before uh, the pandemic, and we had worked together. And during um, the pandemic, when everybody was locked down, and we were all locked down pretty hard over here, um, we um, he uh, I should say he started doing like a live stream. And I was just dying. So we masked up, kept six feet away from each other, and we did some live streams that I <laughs> say he did live streams. And I went over and did that um, his a couple times. And on one of them, he had Aaron Graves there. So I met Aaron Graves. And we were rehearsing a song that, in, incidentally, it didn't get on the album, but um, we did record it. It'll probably be on a future recording. But um, we recorded a song. Uh, we were playing a song that day. And um, – I just at rehearsal, just kind of messing around, and Mike's like, you two need to record that song. And I was like, you know, that's not a bad idea, and that's what started it. So really the core of the band was Aaron Graves and I working on songs and playing piano, and of course Mike Boone on bass. And then we went, I have a couple different drummers, um, all really great, but it was just like what was going on at the time. We ran into Leon Jordan, a friend of both of ours that we really love and admire, and pulled him on a couple tracks and then Aaron worked with Josh Orlando was like, Oh, let's pull him on a couple tracks. And then at some point um, I heard and met Byron Landum and we're like, let's have him on a couple tracks. So we have three different drummers, all of them amazing, um, talented guys and lucky to have them all. Um, I knew from the start, I wanted Larry McKenna on the album, an incredible legendary, legendary tenor yeah. sax player from Philadelphia. And, um, Oh my goodness! He came in, and I guess Aaron had chart. Yeah, Aaron had charts up there for him, and he played it down as if he had played it a million times. It was so gorgeous his solos that Aaron and I just sat on the other side of the booth in awe, just like big smiles on our face, like what? <laughs> you know, it was just oh that feeling that only music can give you. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, it just pretty incredible, and so grateful that. Um, got to, he got to be on this project and then um let's see last but not least um i wanted something special for the nearness of you okay. and i just heard jeremy pelt on it and i didn't know jeremy pelt that well like we're friends on facebook we have some friends in common and i thought you know what i heard it. i was just listening to like tracks from his new album and i'm like that's it i'm just going to reach out and ask him he can say no but i'm going to ask him if he would play on this album just on that song for me and he did and uh oh gosh his his playing his tone is just impeccable yeah and and he's a busy guy, so I was super grateful that he lent his talent to this project. Wow, that is awesome. And I'm the nine. There are the eight, I'm the nine. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 got it. So what's the ultimate desire which you want all the fans out there to get out of the nine album? Hmm. I want them to feel something. I want them to be inspired. I want them to get out of this crazy world for a minute and feel the music and just be in the music. And I, and that's why that's the last track of the album is, um, yeah, I want, I hope to just, you know, the world is, you know, challenging at times and we need music and we need connection. And so that's what I'm trying to spread is just, um, that ability to lose ourselves in the music to inspire mm -hmm. others, to help others. And well, to, I did. Like, firm root. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I want to play that around the end of the show. Um, but I took my time and, and had a glass of wine and played the whole album. Nice. I was in the, I was just in another world. I didn't even Yay, want to turn, that's on, what I I didn't want to turn on the TV <laughs> after that because the TV and the news and, I didn't even want to hear or see nothing on the TV. Kept the TV off all day because the the music drawn me in there. I was like, where am I at? You know, uh, <laughs> because the melody, you're all into that, you know, and uh, that's what your album did do for me. And I want to thank you. Gosh, thank you. So 
I would like for you, Macy, to give your website information and where, how can anyone uh, of our fans and followers that's listening, how they can follow up with you and how they can contact you if uh, they want you to uh, do a performance in their city, if you're open for that. Absolutely. Um, So I'll start with the website. My website is MacyMusic.com, and it's M-A-C-I. M I L L I'm sorry. I just messed up my own website. <laughs> it's Macy Music. Um it used to be Macy Miller dot com. It's Macy Music dot com. So M A C I M U S I C dot com. And I'm on all the social media uh pages. I'm on Facebook as Macy Miller and also there's a page for Macy Music, my professional page. Yeah, um I'm right on here. Instagram. I'm on Insta at Macy Miller Jazz. I'm on mm-hmm. Twitter, Threads. If you Google mm-hmm. Macy Miller, you'll find me on there. And also, um, for contact information, uh, you can reach me at Macy at MacyMusic.com. All right. Thank you for that information. Wow. So as we move along here, let's talk about the upcoming events. You have a performance uh, that's coming up November 22nd. Can you tell us more about that? And it's a birthday concert. It is indeed. You know, it seems like I'm always somewhere or doing something, or it seems like I'm not booked on my birth balls at a weird time. Sometimes that's right on Thanksgiving Day. So I was like, this year, I want a concert on my birthday. And oh, so uh, my birth, yeah, my birthday is actually the 23rd, which is Thanksgiving. So we're doing it the night before at Chris's Jazz Cafe, which is one of the best jazz clubs in philadelphia the oldest one as well and that's at 7 30 and 9 p.m and what's great about chris's um performances is they're all live streamed so people can um come in person or they can watch online okay and well, that's I'm at chris watch it online that's great. all right yeah it's at chrisjazzcafe.com all right. Thank you for that information. We will, uh, I want you to announce it again later at the end of the show. Now, is okay. there any future music projects for 2024? Hmm. That is the question that has been on my brain lately. Well, you and can see just a little <laughs> bit, briefly, just a little bit of information. Well, you know, um, I don't know if it will come out in 2024, but I'll definitely start something uh, kind of soonish, as this one has um, gotten a lot of airplay and promoted a lot. Um, yeah, my mind is starting to think about different things. Part of you wants to do another serious straight ahead album um, with some players that I haven't worked with before. I'm thinking of a new creative project. And another one is um, I have, I've always wanted to do like a more soul um, soul kind of album something a little more contemporary jazz mixed with old school R&B mixed with, Ooh. you know, old jazz. Yeah, so um, it's a little bit more funky, so I'm not sure, but that is that one is, that I've been on my brain for a while, and I was due to work on something like that when I started with Aaron, but it took a whole new direction, as sometimes, uh, beautifully, that's what the music yeah, it's just kind of you just get guided, and the universe just sort of gives you a little gift and says, "This is the what direction we are leading you in," and um, go with it. So, um, yeah, so that's that's. But yeah, oh, uh, nice. brewing. Wow, I'll that's, let you know. that's some good information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, hopefully uh, in 2024 you will want to come back on my show and present your new projects. I'll be following you, you for life. I'm a fan. And um, right now, you can give some shout outs to all those lovely people that has been supporting you throughout your music journey and through this nine album. Oh, my goodness. That would be my players. That would be Aaron Graves and Mike Boone and Larry McKenna. And, um, oh, and I forgot to mention Victor North on here. He played soprano sax. Goodness, how did I forget Victor? Um, Byron Landum, Leon Jordan, Josh Orlando, Jeremy Pelt, all my friends um, and family members that have been so supportive, and all the clubs that 
keep hiring jazz musicians and keep us all working and jazz radio cannot forget all the people like yourself that do podcasts and jazz radio that keep this music going. All right. Now I'm going to give you and them an applause that they will keep on. <laughs> yes. And a early happy birthday to Lacey Miller as well. Happy uh, early happy birthday to you. So let's talk Thank about um, Firm Roots. I love that song. It just takes me back and puts me in a wonderland. So go ahead and give us the story behind the music on the track Firm Roots, please. Okay. Well, Cedar Walton wrote that song and... Um, I believe in the 70s, I should probably know that, but um, a brilliant uh, player, composer, and um, I was looking for a song to do. I wanted to do Bolivia, actually, also by Cedar Walton. I love the song, and um, Aaron suggested from Roots. He's like, have you ever heard this song? I'm like, I haven't. He's like, check it out, and why don't you write your – and I'm like, I, have, I don't find any lyrics for this, and he said – write your own. And so when I first listened to it, I'm like, oh my God, this music is incredible. Can I write lyrics to this? And I sat with it and I sat with it. And what often happens to me is um, I kind of let go and I'll wake up that morning with either a dream or an idea or something. And it just kind of pops into my head and I write it all down, take it to Aaron. Aaron helps, you know, shape yeah. the song and, and makes these incredible arrangements. And, mm-hmm. you know, that's how, uh, that's our process. But the words, you know, I looked for a story. What did Firm Roots mean to Cedar mm-hmm. Walton? And I didn't quite find any kind of backstory. So I thought, what does Firm Roots mean to me? And to me, it means our interconnectedness with the earth, with nature, with the universe, with each other. Okay. And so, and love. And, and so that's what, that's, that's what I wrote the words about. All right. Well, thank you for that information. Thanks for telling me that. And, um, also, I will be playing Feel the Music. I love that track as well. What's the story behind that track? Feel the Music, um, I pictured that as the last song of my set. I wanted something that just made people literally forget about their day and just, you know, sway to the music or move around in their chair or get up and, and just have a wonderful time and just escape for a little bit and um and yeah and that's what it was i actually had a different um rhythm for it originally it was going to be slower and aaron had this great idea to put the groove in and um and it just it just stuck and i love how yeah. he did music he just really did such a great job and you'll hear at the end it kind of breaks down and goes into yeah. this lower part that's my yeah. original one he threw that in there for me <laughs> okay okay well thank you for all that information thank you for your participation for coming on my platform to talk about your nine album where can anyone uh find your album stream it at okay it's streaming on all the normal platforms it's on you know apple music spotify uh, Amazon, wherever you stream live music, you will find it. But of course, the best way to support an artist is to purchase a CD on their website, shameless plug, right. at macymusic.com. <laughs> Thank you for that information again. Thank you. And uh, please <laughs> mention the upcoming event, which is November 22nd. Um, give me some more details again. ChrisJazzCafe.com. Chris's Jazz Cafe is located in Philadelphia, and the show is on November 22nd, 7.30 and 9 p.m., and it's also live streamed. And I have another show in November at Gregory's at Summers Point, which is part of Tom Angelo's um, and South Jersey Jazz's um, show. It's an all-star jazz series, and that is on November 20, I'm sorry, 29th okay. at Gregory's in Summers Point, New Jersey. All right, and thank you for all for that information. Thank you, Macy. Now, at this time, we're about to sign out. I didn't have so much fun with you, Macy. I'll be following you a lot now because I'm a fan of your music. One day, I will travel to come and see you. I'll be sitting in the audience. Hopefully, I'll get a front row seat. 
<laughs> so awesome. you better come up and say hello. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. Any encouraging words uh, for today you would like to give or a message? I would say, yeah, it is never, ever, ever too late. And especially women out there, I started my jazz career over at 50. And if I can do that, you can too. You can do anything. So that's what I'd like to say. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. That gives us all some hope. And uh, with your journey, music journey, I am so proud of you, uh, Macy Miller. I'm <laughs> proud of you. Um, how do you keep that voice of yours? How do you do that, uh, keeping your voice healthy? What do you do? Is there something you do? Sure. Yeah. Well, I had healthy? some vocal problems a couple years ago, and so I really had to, you know, make be careful. Um, no acidic foods, gobs of water. I mean, just buckets and buckets of water, lots of herbal teas. Not okay. too much citrus. Like, I'm careful about a lot of things um, and just trying to stay healthy as possible. Okay. All and right. also, like, not a lot of talking on show days. Not a lot of talking on oh, show days and resting okay. my voice. Right, right. Okay, okay. Well, thank you for that information. There were folks that wanted to know that was curious uh, about that. I want to thank you again and uh, happy early birthday. And uh, I will be live streaming uh, the event that's on November 22nd. And um, tell us, uh, most people want to know what I'm getting is how to get on the live stream. Oh, if you go to um, www.chrisjazzcafe.com, hold on, I'm going to go to it right now. You can, there's a page that comes up and... Yeah, it's chrisjazzcafe.com, and there's a little block that comes up, and one side says in-house dinner and show options, and one says on live streaming enter. And you just click on that enter, and I think you tell them what show you want to see. Oh, let's see. Um, oh, okay, so it must just come up. You know what? Maybe you have to go on to – I should have known that. Sorry. Go on to my show, like hit live shows, and then when you see mine, there's probably going to be a live stream um option. Okay. All right. Thank you. And, for that and then okay. okay. And it also has on that page streaming on YouTube at Chris's Jazz Cafe. They usually stream a little bit. Okay. On that too. Okay. Well thank you. Thank you for that information. Thank you uh, all the uh listeners and all the feedback. Uh <laughs> uh this show has been recorded. Uh thank you, Macy Miller. Um, please come back next year on your new music project. And I would uh, absolutely love to. And, and thank you for having me. Oh, oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. I want to thank all my supports and uh, thank all my listeners and fans out there. Um, this is my 499th show. Uh, wow! <laughs> for this month, and thank you, Macy. Um, I have one more show this month after the holidays. I'm going to take a break, but I shall return. So stay in touch with me and stay in touch with my shows and still stay in touch with Macy Miller. I want to thank you, Macy. And uh, I want to say good night, everyone. Stay uh, stay in tune with me. Uh, stay healthy and take care of each other. Uh, good night, everyone. This is Lady Diva signing out.
are a result of the choices that we're making. So make sure those firm roots grow. Love is ours to give and share with one another. There is more than enough, the story goes. All these gifts in life are meant to go much further. Cause it's true, you reap what you sow. Sunshine and soft light and your light, it shines before me. Me. And love, love. Be the music. 
Let the music speak to your heart Let it tell you something Let every beat drown out your sorrows Cause all we've got is now Feel the music Feel the music Feel the music now Mm-mm. Be the music Be the music Be the music now I'm 
Money, but I assure you, there's only 